Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be going over the least common multiple. In some places you may see it called the smallest common multiple, or you may see it called the lowest common multiple. So let's look at our first example. Let's say we had to find the least common multiple between the number two and five. You can do the list method or the prime factorization method. So for my two and my five, when I'm thinking of multiples, think of multiplying, think of multiplication, think of your multiplication timetable. So you're going to list all the multiples of two, and then you're going to list all the multiples of five, and you're going to find the smallest common multiple that both the two and the five share. So two, we have two. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. For my 5, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and we'll stop here for now. The least common multiple, the smallest common multiple that both of these numbers share is going to be the number 10. So your LCM is 10. So let's say you did the prime factorization method. I'm going to factor my two and my five. My two is factored into one times two, cannot factor any further. And my five is factored into one times five. I cannot factor any further. So my two we said is one times two and my five is one times five. I have a pair right here for my one. I'm gonna add my one one time. I do not have any other numbers to match up, so this two and this five are just going to be add-ons. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add them to the end. So we have one times two is two. Two times five, this is gonna give us 10. So your LCM method here, if you're doing it this way, is gonna equal 10. So let's find the LCM for nine and 11. So for my nine, we have nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, 99, and then 108. And then for my 11, we have 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, and then you have 110. So the smallest common multiple, your least common multiple that both of these numbers share is going to be the number 99. I have a 99 here, and I also have a 99 here. So your LCM is 99. Let's say if we did a factor tree. So for your nine, you have three times three. 11, you only have one times 11. So I'm gonna list my nine is three times three. Since I do not have anything I need, I can match up, I'm going to go ahead and include all of these numbers in my final answer. So we have one times three times three times 11. So one times three is three. Three times three is nine. Nine times 11 is 99. So if you do the prime factorization way, then this is your answer here. So let's try five and seven. So for my five, the multiples of five, we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. And I'll stop here for now. And for my seven, we have seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and then we have 49. And I'll stop here for now. The least common multiple between the two is going to be the number 35. I have a 35 here in my five, and I also have a 35 here in my seven. So your LCM is going to be 35. So let's try the prime factorization. So we have one times five, cannot factor any further. And then my seven, we have one times seven. I cannot factor any further. So my five, we said was one times five. And then my seven, is going to be one times seven. The only number I can pair up here is this one, and then all the numbers here are going to be add-ons. 
So this one, I'm going to write it one time times my five times my seven. One times five, this is going to give us five. Five times seven, this is going to equal 35. So let's try four and six. I'm going to list the multiples of four. So think of your multiplication timetable. So it's going to be four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and 24. And we'll stop here for now. For my six, we have six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. And we'll stop here for now. The smallest common multiple that both of these numbers share is going to be the number 12. So your LCM is 12. So now let's try the other method. So my four, we can break that down into two times two. And my six, we can break that down into two times three. So let's go ahead and list my four and my six. So we have two times two. And then my six, we have two times three. So I can go ahead and match up my two here. I'm going to go ahead and write this one time. And I have these other numbers here, my two and my three here. Those are going to be add-ons. So two times two is four, four times three, this is gonna give you 12. So your final answer here is 12. So let's try 12 and 15. Multiples of 12, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, and then 72. For my 15, we have 15, 30, 45, 60, 75 and 90 and we'll stop here for now the least common multiple between the two is going to be the number 60. so your lcm is going to be the number 60. so let's try the other way my 12 we can factor that into three times four my four we can factor into two times two my 15 we can factor that into three times five and I can't factor that any further, so I'll leave that alone. And my 12 here, so this is going to be 2 times 2 times 3. My 15, this is going to be 3 times 5. So I'm going to find a pair. I have a pair of 3s right here. So I'm going to write that one time. I do not have any other pairs, so these other numbers are going to be add-ons. I'm going to add them to my final answer. So I'm going to put my five here, and then I'm going to put two twos times two here. So we have two times two. This is going to give us four. Four times three is 12. 12 times five, this is going to give us 60. So let's try four and eight. Multiples of four, we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20 and then 24. We'll stop here for now. 8, we have 8, 16, 24, and 32, and we'll stop here for now. The least common multiple between both numbers is going to be the number 8. Although I have a 16 here and a 16 here, I also have a 24 here and a 24 here. We are looking for the smallest common multiple and the smallest common multiple, your least common multiple, is going to be the number 8. So if you did the prime factorization, so my 4, we have 2 times 2. My 8, we have 2 times 4. And then my 4, we can factor that into 2 times 2. So my 4, we have is 2 times 2. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. I'm going to find, I have a pair right here. I'm going to match that up here. I'm going to write this one time. I have another pair right here. I'm going to write this one time. And then we have this add-on. I'm going to add that on to my answer. So we have 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So your answer here is also 8. So what if you had to find the least common multiple between three numbers? We're going to do the same thing, and this time we need to find the smallest common multiple between all three numbers. The multiples of three, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 
15, 18, 21, and then 24. And for my sixth, we have 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. We'll stop here for now. 9, we have 9, 18, 27, 36, and 45. And we'll stop here for now. The smallest common multiple that all three numbers share is going to be the number 18. So your LCM for all these three numbers here is going to be the number 18. So let's try the factor tree. So my three, that can factor that into one times three. My six, I can factor that into two times three. And my nine, I can factor that into three times three. Can't factor any further. So I'm gonna leave those alone. So three, we have one times three. Six, we have two times three. Nine, we have three times three. So I have a match here. I can match all threes here. So I'm gonna write this three one time. And then all the others are going to be add-on. I do not have any other matches. So I'm just gonna add them in my final answer. So I'm gonna add a three here and we're gonna add a two and a one. So we have one times two is two. Two times three is six, and then you have six times three. This is going to give you 18. So your LCM using this method is also 18. So let's try two, three, and six. Multiples of two, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Three, we have three, six, nine, 12, and 15. And then six, we have six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. And we'll stop here for now. The smallest common multiple that all three numbers share is going to be the number six. So your LCM here is going to be six. If you did the factor tree, your two, we can factor that into one times two. Three, you can factor that into one times three. And your six, you can factor that into two times three. So my two, we have one times two. Three is one times three. And then six is two times three. So let's go ahead and look for any matches. Oh, I do have a match right here, only two. So I'm gonna write this one time. I also have a match right here with my ones. I'm gonna write that one one time. And then I have a match right here for my twos. So I'm just gonna grab that and I'm gonna also write this one time. So we have one times two is two, and then two times three is six. So your final answer here is six. So let's try two, three, and nine. Let's list the multiples of two. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. We'll stop here for now. And then threes, we have three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. And then nine, we have nine, 18, 27, and 36, and we'll stop here for now. The smallest common multiple between all three numbers is going to be the number 18. So we have an 18 here, an 18 here, and then we also have an 18 here. Even though I have a nine for my three here and a nine here in the nine, I do not have a nine here for my two, so I cannot use the number nine. However, I can use the number 18 because all three numbers have the number 18. This is the smallest common multiple. So your LCM is 18. And then if we did a factor tree, let's see. So my two, we have one times two. Three, we have one times three. And nine, we have three times three. So let's list these numbers. So one times three, and then nine is three times three. So let's pair these numbers up and look for a match. I do have a match right here. So I'm gonna write this three one time. And I also have a match here for my ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that one one time. 
And then all of the other numbers are going to be add-ons. So we have another three and then we have a two. So we have one times three is three. Three times three is nine. Nine times two, this is going to give us 18. So your LCM is 18. Let's try one more. So we have two, eight, and 10. I'm going to list the multiples of two. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So these are the multiples of two. And then for my eight, the multiples of eight, we have eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, and then 48. And for my 10, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, and we'll just add a 60 here. So the smallest number that all three numbers share is going to be the number 40. I have a 40 here, 40 here for my eight, and a 40 here in my 10. So your LCM here is 40. So let's try the factor tree. So my two, we have one times two. My eight, we have two times four. My four is two times two. For my 10, we have two times five. So two, we said is one times two. Eight is two times two times two. My 10 is two times five. So let's go ahead and match these numbers up. I have three twos I can match up. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this one time. I cannot match up any other numbers, so these are just going to be add-ons. I'm gonna add this other two, I'm gonna add this other two here, and then this five. So we have one times two, that's two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times five, this is going to give us 40. So your LCM using this method is also 40. All right, so that is all for today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.